Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to burn your DVDs using a free DVD authoring software. It's called DVD Styler, and it's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So let's take a look at the software. So here is DVD Styler, and the first thing you notice that when you open it, you're just going to create a new project, and you can label the disc and pick the type of DVD size that you want to use for the capacity and you get to choose the video bit rate the audio bit rate and also the last post command so it could be either at the last menu or the root menu and this is the part where you're just going to customize it a little bit and if you are in uh, ntsc video format region then you want to pick that and you pick your aspect ratio so for me i'm just going to leave it the way it is and but again you guys can play around with it to how you will like it and i'm going to hit ok and immediately you're going to get this template window asking you to pick a template that you would like to use and they have different types of templates that you can choose from you can also use no template so you will just build everything on your own you know that includes chapter selection title selection and what i am gonna pick i'm gonna pick one of these little one of these templates right here the simple one right here i'm gonna click ok and immediately you kind of get a layout of how the menus gonna look like and also if your videos could be if the dvd video that you're making is gonna be broken down in chapters now immediately i would suggest that you will go to file and save as before you even start to make your dvd and i'm gonna call this a dvd test you can name it anything you like the reason why you should save this is because sometimes i find this software a little bit you know clunky and finicky uh for some reason when I add my own logo, these three buttons right here, the one that says backgrounds, file browser, and buttons, they just disappear. And the only way I could get it back is to relaunch the application. So definitely save your project before continue on and also do it periodically when you're creating your project. So I'm gonna look at my title menu first. And let's say I don't want this, you know, default color background. What I can do is I just right click, go to properties, and go to background, and I can pick any type of um, picture I want. And I'm gonna pick our tech that doesn't bite logo. Now make sure you don't have like a really high res background image. I done that before with this software. I, I picked like this 4K image that I want to use, and you know when it was trying to burn it to dvd it just failed and i did some research on it and you know try to pick a smaller resolution picture should fix the issue so be careful what image you pick you don't want to pick too low res, too low res but you don't also want to pick something that's too high res so somewhere in the medium will be good so here is my little logo and i could play around with these you know different fonts right here actually i'm just gonna remove them so i could just right click delete right click delete them it's good delete them and i want to add like a little menu button and i can do that i just go to buttons and then you go to menu and just drag it down and you can place it anywhere you like and you go right click properties and then here you could change the color of the men of the menu button so let's say i want like a bright green or anything that you like with the bright green and it's also telling you where it's gonna jump to so this is the title set and title one and it's by default set to that but you can always play around with it so now in here i'm gonna throw in my first video and if you have multiple videos, you're gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm just gonna throw in one video. Okay, here is a tech that doesn't bite video and it's adding the file.
So now I added all the files and normally it shouldn't, it wouldn't really break them into different sections, but for some reason it did for me this time. I've, I've done it before, but if you notice that, let's say this part right here and this, these boxes right here are empty. All you do is just go to the individual boxes, go to properties and right here in video, you just choose which time you want that second chapter to begin. So let's say I want it right here, like, you know, the 14 minute range. And so that will be like my, you know, chapter two, you want to keep that as a title set one and title one and so forth. So you keep continuing which part you want that certain title sequence to begin. So I'm gonna do that again. So let's pick about 29, click okay. So you get to play around with it and you could change, you know, these buttons as well. And basically you're just going to make your own DVD layout. And again, you can either use their, their backgrounds, you know, and then just change, change it around, change the template. Now, what I noticed with this software, it, it does take a while to learn it, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to make your own DVD. So now let's say this is what I have. This is my menu and everything. So I have everything done. What I do now is I'm just going to click burn DVD. And we have a DVD loaded. And it's going to ask you, you could either preview it when it while making the DVD disc, you know, using VLC, or you could have it just create an ISO. So maybe later on, you could just burn it somewhere else, but I'm going to burn to my DVD player. So I'm going to let my DVD burner do the, do the burning and let's click start. And this process might, it's going to take a while. Actually, it really depends how fast your DVD burner is and what kind of video you are putting into the software. As you can see, it's going to generate the menu, basically the menus that you created. And also it's going to transcode that video. So it fits well with the DVD format. So it's done burning the DVD and let's check out what it looks like now. So I'm going to close. DV Styler. I'm just going to save this and it's already saved. So just in case I want to go back and change something a little bit different. So what I'm going to use and we'll go ahead, clear the cache. Now I'm going to use VLC. I like VLC because that's a really good DVD player for a computer. So I'm going to open disc. I already have my DVD loaded. Click open and that's my DVD. So that's my menu with my logo and I'm going to hit menu. So that's the DVD. I'm going to go to again, the DVD menu and then I'm going to hit some of these titles. We'll go back to DVD menu. So here's the menu. Here's the home menu. Yeah, so it basically allows you to make your own menus, your own style, make the DVD the way you like it. Now, again, it does take a while to get used to learning the program, but once you're familiar with it, it should be very easy. Uh, you no, know, I've noticed that. When I click menu, it doesn't necessarily go to my menu, but that's something that I will need to go back in DVD Styler and fix it and just see what the layout looks like. So again, 
it does take a while to learn it but once you get the hang of it it's all good so what do you guys think of dvd styler do you use it do you use another software to burn your dvds let me know in the comments below thank you for watching if you like this video make sure to hit that subscribe button smash that thumbs up button and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you get notified of new videos and make sure to check out some of our other videos that we've been making see you guys next time